follow the glow and you'll land here at 16 Francis Street in Claremont. I got the joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. The dazzling displays, lights, music, props, animations, an annual Christmas tradition at the Mitchell House. For 25 years, Brian Mitchell has been lighting up the holiday, wrapping his house in color and covering every inch of his lawn, both back and front, with Christmas magic. I'm just smiling all night, just watching all the people coming through and enjoying it. People travel from near and far to take in the sights. Now people that were coming as kids are bringing their kids to, the, to, to see it. But this year will be Brian's last. He and his wife, Joyce, will follow Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen, and dash away, dash away, dash away all. I've hit my goal. This is my dream that I've wanted. I've fulfilled it. Extreme decorating is all-consuming. Brian starts in earnest in early October. Every free moment outside of his real job, he spends creating this Christmas wonderland. Of course, after 25 years, he's got it down to a science. I have a day called Ladder Day, which is where we do all the high stuff and the peaks and things. I have another day we call Shed Day that we can unpack the shed, which is everything you see behind me pretty much. That's 130 plastic blow molds, dozens of handmade cutouts, and 50,000 lights. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven big totes of just extension cords. We catch up with Brian and Joyce during crunch time, one week before blast off. I'm just starting for the power, so we'll start wiring all this stuff. And to think this all started with two strings of lights and a plastic Santa. Over the years, the display has expanded and expanded and expanded. Something new added every Christmas. This year, it's the lit archway and a used sleigh lot. New Hampshire Chronicle visited the Mitchells' house a decade ago. Brian still turns red when he thinks about this impromptu dance routine. Embarrassed. <laughs> it, it was fun, but the, the daughter kind of forced us into doing it for the show. <laughs> no surprise he dropped the dancing, preferring to let the synchronized music and lights take over as stars of the show. I never stop when the cup hunts freeze. I'm frosty, I'm full of snow. The front yard display is all computer controlled. 25 songs running every quarter hour. It takes about 10 hours to program every minute of music. So, you know, three minute song is 30 hours of programming. Brian's love for Christmas decorating started as a kid. I'd put paper chains around every single room in the house. Every single room in the house. His wife, as supportive as Mrs. Claus, he doesn't do anything else, you know. He doesn't go hunting and whatever. So this is what he loves to do. And I wasn't going to take that away from him. I wanted him to fulfill his dream. Joyce's inner elf claims the porch, resplendent with stuffed dolls, animated characters, and little villages. Her theme this year, a trip down memory lane, showcasing photos of Mitchell's Christmas past. <laughs> The Naughty or Nice machine became an instant hit when it was added a few years ago. 
It's got a direct connection to the North Pole and lets you know if you're naughty or nice. All right, tells the truth. So, it, it always tells the truth. Do I dare? I like the music. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it does you tell got the it. truth. Yeah, I, think. I told you it does. <laughs> That's awesome. I bet the kids love this. You know, in 25 years, with all this electricity running here, there, and everywhere, Brian's never had a power failure. A close call once. We're inside after the lights had come on, and and I'm looking outside, and I'm seeing flashes, and I'm like, hey, Joyce, someone's taking pictures. And she says, uh, there's nobody out there. <laughs> so I go outside, and I see, look up at the side of the house, and go, beep, beep, beep. It's like, oh, unplug it, unplug it, shut it off. <laughs> a main feed rusted out, a repair the city quickly handled. Early on, visitors offered Brian money to help pay his electric bill, which sparked an idea. Brian decided to take donations, raising money to help kids. So far, more than $20,000 has been donated to Chad and David's house. And now, as Brian and Joyce set up Santa and Rudolph, angels and choir boys, dancing lights and towering trees, it's for the last time. It's all mixed emotions. It hasn't been an easy decision. But their hearts are all aglow, knowing for a quarter century they've been making spirits bright. Happy, happy, happy.